This is the figure of Ramses II, who ruled Egypt around 1200 BC. He was the pharaoh who invested more in his image than any other. And his figure is found all over Egypt. But by far the most imposing and memorable are these great colossal statues that stand guard at his temple in Thebes. The one thing you really get here is that size matters. These vast monumental figures with that nice hint that they'd be even bigger if they bothered to stand up for you simply dominate, they take over your field of vision. It's an assertion of the power of the pharaoh through his huge, superhuman, enthroned body. However fragile that power might have been in real life, the modern world has comprehensively bought in to the monumentality of the Egyptian ruler. And it's impossible not to think that when people walk past here three and a half thousand years ago, that they too would have got what the message was intended to be. This kind of bombastic, bare-chested display fits the picture we have of autocrats today. Impressive though such images are, I'm sure some ancient Egyptians would have found them as vulgar or as irritating as we might. But beyond the gates of the temple, there's another set of statues whose power and purpose is harder to fathom. Deep inside, we're dominated by yet more vast images of Ramses that can't be explained away as propaganda to the people. Only those closest to the king were allowed into this part of the temple. So what was the point of these towering statues? Some think they were aimed at powerful elites to remind them who was boss. Others think they were aimed at the all-seeing eye of the gods. I've got a different viewer in mind. And that's the pharaoh himself. Those of us with no inkling of power on a grand scale, often forget how hard it must be to believe in oneself as monarch or autocrat. A person who really needs to be convinced that he is preeminent above the common herd is that ordinary human being who's masquerading as omnipotent ruler. That's why as a basic rule of thumb, we find more pictures of kings and queens in all their finery in royal palaces than anywhere else in the world. And here in Egypt too, monumental images of pharaohs commissioned by pharaohs themselves in vast numbers played their part in convincing the pharaoh of his own pharaonic power.